welcome to Kids Church Online this morning. I'm Danny, and I am one of our Kids Church leaders from Mintonbury. It is so great to be meeting with you online today, although I am really missing seeing you guys all in person and can't wait until we're able to do that for us before we get stuck into our story and the Bible today. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much that we can meet together online every Sunday. We thank you that we have your word in the Bible and that we're able to hear from you and we're able to talk to you when we pray to you as well. We just ask that we can have a really fun time this morning getting to know you more. In Jesus' name, Amen. Last week in our story from Esther, uh, we saw that Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman, one of the most important officials of the king. And because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him, Haman got really angry and convinced the king, King Xerxes, to make a new law that all Jewish people in their kingdom, so all of God's people, and Mordecai was one of them, were to be killed on a certain date. And so we're picking up the story in chapter four, just after that's happened, just after everyone in the town has found out about this sad news. So our story starts at the start of Esther chapter four, and we see Mordecai, now, Mordecai has just seen or heard the news about being put to death if you are Jewish. And this made Mordecai really, really worried and sad. So Mordecai was so upset about it that he changed out of his normal clothes and he put on a sackcloth and he put ash all over his head and he cried and he grieved all around the front gates of the kingdom palace. Now, our queen Esther was told about what Mordecai was doing and she felt a bit concerned about the fact that Mordecai had a sackcloth on and was crying in front of everyone, asked her messenger, whose name is a little bit hard to say, so for today, we're just going to call him Messenger Matt. So Esther asked her messenger if he could go and find out what's wrong with Mordecai, and so he did. Messenger Matt asks, Messenger Matt asks Mordecai what's going on and tells him that Queen Esther is a bit concerned by what he's doing. Mordecai explains to Messenger Matt all that he has just found out through the new law that's been made by the king because of Haman. And he asks messenger Matt to go and tell Esther of this terrible news and hopes that she can do something about it because she is the queen. The messenger Matt goes back to Queen Esther and he explains to Esther all that Mordecai has asked him to. And she feels really sad by this news about the new law that's been made. Because remember, Esther herself is actually one of God's people, even though the king and his staff don't know that yet. So Esther tells Messenger Matt to go and speak to Mordecai again and to let him know that there's actually nothing that she can do because in order to speak to the king, you need to be asked. So if she was to go to the king herself, she would in fact be put to death. 
So Messenger Matt agrees. And Messenger Matt tells Mordecai about this worry that Esther has about if she goes and sees the king, that she will die. And Mordecai sends one last message to Messenger Matt to send to Queen Esther. Mordecai reminds Esther that actually, if she doesn't talk to the king and this new law is kept, that she herself and all of the people in her family and the people that she loves will all be put to death because they are God's people and that's what the new law says has to happen. Goes to Queen Esther and he tells her what Mordecai has said. And he says, remember, Queen Esther, that if you don't say anything to the king, Mordecai says that you too will be put to death because you are one of God's people. And so Queen Esther, feeling very worried, Queen Esther says that she will, in fact, go and speak to the king, even if it means that she is put to death because she's broken the rules. But she says, Messenger Matt, please go and see Mordecai and tell him that no one is to eat or drink for three days and three nights. And after that time, she will go and see the king. Messenger Matt goes to Mordecai and he explains all that Queen Esther has said. And he says, Queen Esther is going to go and see the king. But before she does that, she needs you to gather all of the Jewish people, all of God's people together. And you need to make sure that none of you eat or drink for three days and three nights. And after that time, Queen Esther will go and see the king about the new law. Mordecai did all that Esther asked and he trusted her that she would do the right thing by God's people. Now, I'm not sure if you have ever been asked to do something that seems a bit crazy or even like it seems like maybe there's no point because you're not going to get anywhere with it. Um, but we do see in our story today that that's exactly what's happened to Queen Esther. She's been asked to do something that seems just to have a bad outcome no matter what. But after some talking, some back and forth between Mordecai through Messenger Matt and Esther, we see that Esther actually has faith. She trusts that if she does the right thing by God's people, that God will take care of her and that she will be kept okay and that the people that she loves will also be kept safe. And Mordecai shows us the same kind of faith. He trusts that God will help Esther to have the courage to go and speak to the king, even though it seems like she's going to die when she does that. So this week, I wanna encourage you guys to go out and have faith like Esther and Mordecai. To trust that God is in control of everything. Things might even feel a little bit crazy at the moment for you because of COVID and because of school changing and everything being a little bit different at the moment. But we know that even in these crazy changing times, God is always there. And he is always looking after us. And so we can turn to him and talk to him. So we can talk to God by praying to him. So whenever you're feeling worried um, and you're not sure what's going on or you feel like things are really bad, make sure you remember that you can talk to God and know that he is going to love you and look after you in every situation. Can't wait for, make sure you tune in next week to hear more of the book of Esther and see 
what God's plan is for Esther and for his people after she speaks to King Xerxes. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. It was really great to dig into God's word with you this morning.